Yeah, hello. Welcome to my channel. My name is Esther Sari. Today, I have an interesting topic. For most internationals, when they come to Europe, you need to separate your rubbish, just like what I have here. So I have different ways of separating my rubbish. Here is the organic rest meal, the organic rubbish, anything food. So I have eggs, shell here. Anything related to food, your kitchen waste should go into this. And I have a container that I pour it inside. Alternatively, you could use a paper, like what I have here. Here it says biocomposable. So you use this and you pour your organic waste into it. This is what I have. You can always use this. And use a tissue or newspaper to collect your organic waste. If you have a flower in your room and you would like to dispose it of, always put it in your organic waste. Section will go out and I'll show you where you can dispose of your rubbish. Now go to this yellow bag. You always have to have this yellow bag. You can get your city hall. You can also go to your city hall, the rat house. This is for free, so you can always go there and take some and use. What you need to put in this things like plastic. Something like this has layers. So everything packaging, you put it into this yellow plastic bag something like this will go into this yellow plastic bag your milk can will go here if you have a plastic bottle it will come into this like this plastic bottle or you buy a drink in a plastic bottle this will have to go into this yellow bag anything other than organic waste or packaging which goes into the yellow bag which you are not sure of where to put it just put it in another waste called the rest meal you go to the supermarket there's a container where you can put used batteries like batteries from your watch batteries for maybe your mouse battery or for a torch light they are separate ways of separating your rubbish here in Europe. So there's also paper waste. Paper waste. So I have my paper waste in this container and I have some extra ones in this bag, like you know, anything paper. Um, this is egg paper, from tea paper, your toilet roll paper. This is also paper. I bought some phones, the newspapers, everything goes in. So anytime you receive a parcel, for instance, from Amazon, eBay, any of this logistic company, anything you buy which doesn't have any direct contact with the food, is paper, like this. This doesn't have direct contact. This is a phone case. This doesn't have direct contact with the food, with food. So it goes into the paper. The difference between this packaging material and this, this has layers. This is a milk packaging material and it, it has this direct contact with the food. So it will go into this yellow bag, this yellow bag. And this home case goes into the paper bag. It can be any other thing you are not sure of. You put it in the residual waste. So I have a plastic like this in my room and I just drop all the residual waste into it like use pad use baby diapers will go into this facial wipe to clean your face everything will go into this residual waste if you are not sure as an African anytime I comb my hair I have excess hair I'm not sure of where to put it so it will go into the residual waste Refusal to separate your waste into the right section or category comes with a fine in Europe. I can say that for Germany and I live with a student born high, I live with internationals and most of them don't know how to separate it. That is why this video is pretty necessary to teach all of us how to separate our waste. So I'm going out now with this, the waste and then I'll show you where to put what. Follow me. There is also a separate container for used clothes. There is a separate container for different types of glass bottles. So we are going to see all that outside. 
so this as you can see here is a noir feel only for niche under it that means nothing else so it's noir feel or only for and nothing else anything you are not sure of like hair use part tissue it comes here the rest meal and this is in the container we have different it comes in this container this looks like this in this container so you just drop it in and then you cover it nicely this is the organic waste it has this greenish the container has this greenish color the lid has this greenish color and the bottom is black so you always pour without plastic without plastic always without plastic so it goes in here so as you can see here some people have dropped plastics here which is not allowed like this this is not allowed this is not allowed at all all this the possibility to use this kind of plastic is greenish and it's biocomposable degradable it is you can also use this kind of plastic you can buy it from any supermarket or from the drugstore this is a biodegradable so it is boldly written here so you can use this plastic but the challenge with using this plastic is when other people come they see that there are plastics in here so they don't know that this is biodegradable or not so they just put in every kind of plastic something like this as you can hear, this is not biodegradable the sound alone is enough to tell you that this is not biodegradable and it's not allowed to come in here if you feel you cannot buy the paper or the plastic which is biodegradable what you do is you put when you get here you empty your food waste or your organic waste into this bin with a green cover yes someone also use a paper so this is okay this is okay to put it here so this is for the organic waste with a green lid any other thing you can just empty yours in. if you don't have a material that is biodegradable and you put it in the residual waste that's what i'm going to do now this from the um, organic waste which is not allowed so i'll put it now in the residual waste so we move to the next section ready this container here is only meant for glass brown glasses and nothing else like your wine glasses or any other thing but no only for brown glasses so you separate your glasses your wine glasses and no ceramic broken plates broken marks not in this container it says vice glass that means only white glasses and the container is also painted white it looks a bit creamy but this is it no ceramic no nothing just white glasses from your wine glasses you buy maybe olive oil or something like that it goes into this white container white glass and vice glass and we have the another container here green glass so only for green glasses green glasses green glasses for this container you can if you can't read german it's not a big problem you should just identify it with the color this is green and you can see this recyclable mark right here and as they say also please don't leave anything on it just drop it here right here in here so you just come and you drop it here everything is easy to read the arrows show that go here and you and you are there this this says on to raise this and you see this is for clydon on shoe hair that means only for clothing clothing so clothing and shoes so you drop it also here so I just come pull it down this way and take it back but it's also advisable to package it in a in a bag or in a plastic container or something like that then you just drop it in just as i showed you this here these bottles anytime you buy your drinks this is lifting drink you see this mark it shows that you can go back there you, you are being charged 25 cents for this so anytime you take it back into the shop, the supermarket, you get your 25 cents back. So this is it. You don't dispose this off. 
but if you buy any drink for instance and there's you don't see this mark that means there's no money for you and you did not pay 25 cent if you don't take it back that means someone might take it to the shop and get a 25 cents or they recycle it with your 25 cents so choose what you want for yourself and you can also see it in canned drinks like this but not all canned drinks thank you yes yeah, so we are the yellow bag so girl bears back the yellow bag and it is recyclable so you also see this mark here recyclable only for and nothing else nothing else so you're going in here And I'm going to tie it properly. Huh. So there are a couple of yellow bags here. I drop it here. I want to check what this person has in this bag. And it's boldly also written here. Waste sorting can be easy. So you have the yellow bag, just like what we have here, the composable one for compost. It's boldly written here. Then we have the glasses. Then we have the other waste and paper. So please, let's follow this simple rule. This container is just meant for papers, anything paper like this. Packaging from Amazon, from the supermarket, this is a good package. What do we have here? Some cereal. Guess what I saw here? This. This is for yellow container, not for this. Not for this container. Please. So I'm going to empty my here. Without any plastic. And finally, I'm going to put my gloves here. The rest of your residual waste. Thank you, and please don't forget to separate your rubbish correctly so you don't get any fine or they increase your rent because you are not doing the right thing thank you